Memorial Services for Dangun. Memorial Services for Dangun, the ancestral father of the Korean nation, are held at the mausoleum of King Dangun on the occasion of his birthday, October 3rd, the National Foundation Day. The memorial services for Tangun have been registered as the state intangible cultural heritage. Tangun founded a country called Korea for the first time in the East in the early 30th century BC, opening the beginning of the statehood. In history, it is called Ancient Joseon, in distinction from the later feudal Joseon dynasty. Since then, the Korean nation with Tangun as the ancestral father could live with the same blood and language on the same territory and boast of itself as the nation with a 5,000-year-long history and resplendent cultural tradition. The Korean ancestors have worshipped Tangun and held memorial services for him for thousands of years. The Korean people held the memorial services for Tangun every year, even during the colonial rule of the Japanese imperialists in the first half of the 20th century, when their moves to obliterate the history and culture of the Korean nation reached an extreme. The mausoleum of King Tangun was wonderfully rebuilt and inaugurated in October 83 or 1994. The memorial services for Tangun, which are grandly held at the mausoleum of King Tangun on the National Foundation Day every year, serve as a significant occasion, giving the people the pride of being a member of the Korean nation. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea performs a grand ceremony to mark the National Foundation Day at the Mausoleum of King Tangun on October 3 every year. The date is the birthday of King Tangun, father of the Korean nation. His mausoleum lies at the foot of Mount Daebak in Munungri, Gangdong County, Pyongyang. It covers a total area of over 40 hectares. It is divided into the area of monument to reconstruction of the mausoleum of King Dangun, stone statues area and mausoleum area. The area of monument to reconstruction of the mausoleum of King Dangun comprises monument to reconstruction of the mausoleum of King Dangun, monument to repair of the mausoleum of King Dangun, and gate post. The monument to reconstruction of the mausoleum of King Dangun was set up in October 83, 1994 to transmit to all generations to come the immortal exploits performed by President Kim Il-sung and the Chairman Kim Jong-il to find the father of the nation. 
This is the monument to repair of the mausoleum of King Tangun, erected in the 1930s. The back side of the monument is inscribed with circumstances of repair. What is noteworthy is the fact that the epitaph was inscribed in Korean, though the Japanese imperialist occupants prohibited the use of spoken and written Korean language in a scheme to eradicate the nationality of the Korean people. It shows the strong patriotism and anti-Japanese feelings of the Korean people. The gate post of the mausoleum was set up with large and small stones of nature. After passing the monument to reconstruction of mausoleum of King Tangun and gate post, one enters the area of stone statues. The area of stone statues is divided into two terraces, the upper one with four statues of sons of King Tangun, two on either side and the lower one with eight close subjects of King Dangun, four on either side. The area of mausoleum of King Dangun comprises the mausoleum, sword stone tower, stone lantern and other facilities. Stone tiger statues stand in the four corners of the mausoleum. The mausoleum is a nine-tiered stone tomb. It is based on the precedent that Korean ancestors regarded nine as the highest figure. The door to the burial room is on the back side of the mausoleum. One enters the burial room of King Tangun through the three doors, outer, middle and inner. In the burial room are laid in state remains of King Tangun and his wife. The remains were unearthed in February 282, 1993. According to judgment at that time, the remains dated back to 5,011 years ago. King Dangun seemed to be some 174 centimeters tall and his wife, some 160 centimeters, very tall for that time. A new dolmen tomb of the period of ancient Choson was unearthed near the mausoleum of King Tangun, a proof that the area around the mausoleum was the center of culture during the period of ancient Choson. It was also proved that Pyongyang is the holy land of the Korean nation, the single nation who was formed and developed in and around Pyongyang. The mausoleum of King Tangun, holy land of the nation, is visited by many Koreans from South Korea and overseas. They unanimously say the reconstruction of the mausoleum of King Tangun in a splendid manner to suit the spirit of Tangun Korea is a great auspicious matter and historic event. Thanks to the policy of the Workers' Party of Korea for protecting the cultural legacy of the nation, the mausoleum of King Tangun will be handed down to all generations to come as the precious cultural assets showing the time-honored history and homogeneous character of the Korean nation and inspiring great national pride in the people. <laughs> <laughs>